Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I'm actually back in my house at my family home. I decided to come home today. I don't usually come home. If you know me, I live in my flat and I really like living in there but i've decided to come home today just for the day because with the whole coronavirus thing going on my uni is a bit funny like some lectures are on some aren't and it's just really confusing so i just thought i'm just gonna come to my house revise film some videos i thought i was gonna film videos here today because for once in my entire life this room is tidy this used to be my bedroom when i lived here and it was not the tidiest of things let's just put it that way if you know me you know how bad it was now it's not so i thought i'm gonna film in here for the first time ever so that is where we are right now but why is the radiator on so warm it's boiling outside i'm actually sweating right now um it's probably because i'm sat next to the radiator but anyway in today's video i'm going to be giving you like tips and tricks on how to lose weight in a safe sustainable way what i mean by that is basically not being obsessive not being restrictive not feeling under pressure or guilty or just making it more of a lifestyle change rather than something that you're trying to do just before you either go on holiday or before like a time frame that you've set just things that i've learned since doing alexandra's happy body plan i did do a little review video of that on my channel and i know obviously some people have got their opinions on diet plans and things like that but i really like that plan because it's not all about kind of restricting yourself it's about limiting yourself in terms of calories but not limiting yourself in terms of what foods you can eat and what times of the day you can eat and all that kind of stuff so i really like it um little spoiler alert if you haven't seen that video you can go and watch it if you want but i did film that on my channel previously i have also done a what i eat in a day video and i am going to be doing some more i'm going to be doing weeks worth of breakfast video weeks worth of lunch video and like loads of different videos to do with this because although some people might not want to see this this is like my life it's like my lifestyle change and it's something that I do want to talk about so grab yourself a little cup of tea or you know a coffee or a hot chocolate or whatever um, and get settled in because I've written a list on my laptop of loads of different kind of tips and tricks and ideas that I've come up with and all that kind of stuff so I'm just going to go through them um, a slight kind of disclaimer before we start this video I'm not going to be doing like overlay clips or like you know inserting pictures or anything in this video because that is for separate videos i know somebody commented on one of my other videos saying they wanted to see before and after pictures and that will be when i've got to where i want to be do you know what i mean i'm, I'm going to do that when i reach the end i'm not going to post that now that's going to be when i get to my goal weight and also when it comes to like food and things i'm not going to be doing overlay clips of food in this video because i'm going to be filming those videos in the future so this is just me chatting going to go through um everything and we're going to get to where we want to be and also if you get triggered by the discussion of calories or anything like that because i know i have um some people message me and stuff you know it doesn't bother me when people you know express their opinions on everything because that's fine everyone's got their own opinions but then i've also got my own opinion and you know if, if this video is going to trigger you basically just don't watch it okay let's get into the video first of all i literally have about like 25 points but first of all this should be considered um as a lifestyle change rather than a diet which is what i've kind of already discussed and what i mean by that is it should be something that you're doing for yourself and your life and your fitness and your general health rather than because you want to fit into this dress for this event or because you want to do it for your wedding or your holiday because then I want to stress this actually in a group chat that I'm in the happy body plan a lot of people are being demotivated because their holidays have been cancelled due to coronavirus and they're feeling like they just want to give up with the plan and I just read that and I think if you have the mindset of thinking about this as this being about weight loss and being about you being healthy and fit and active rather than I need to get slim for my holiday then that wouldn't bother you and you would be fine because surely a holiday shouldn't be your goal your goal should be your health your fitness feeling happier being stronger all that kind of thing so make it about a lifestyle rather than just a quick fix diet don't let others put you off now what i mean by that is some people when you mention weight loss will be like no 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 you don't need to lose weight don't do it you're fine how you are or whatever no matter what weight you are people will make those comments or people might support you which is great but some people will be like that 
do not let people put you off doing it you know when i started counting calories and things like that i'm not you know obsessed or anything i, I enjoy it because i'm an organized person and i love counting calories because it's part of organization and planning and i love it but don't let people say to you don't do this don't do that it's really bad it's going to make you unhealthy and it's going to make you you know ill if you count your calories because yes that does happen to some people but that's not happening to everybody not everybody um, becomes addicted to counting calories not everybody becomes obsessive over it and sometimes if you count your calories you can actually start to realize where you was going wrong or what foods you was eating for example oil has got tons of calories in and it just means that you can still have those things but just in smaller amounts you know maybe in the first place you didn't need to have that much and you just suddenly realized oh my god or you could swap it out for something so don't let others put you you know down or make you feel like doing a, a diet or making a lifestyle change is a bad thing because it isn't wanting to be fitter healthier and better yourself is never a bad thing you know if you've got an eating disorder or something like that that's different you know that's something completely different and that's something for you to like deal with in your family and everything like that but when it comes to you wanting to lose a bit of weight because you're unfit and healthy and you're slightly heavier than you should be then that shouldn't be a problem and i've also written down here do it for your mental health now mental health is really important to me it always has been and it always will be and if you didn't know i had selective mutism when i was a child for years and years and years and years and years and I know how important that exercise was to me for making me feel better. Uh, this isn't just eating healthy, but this is just exercising. When you eat healthy, when you exercise, in particularly exercising, you release endorphins, and what they do is it just makes you feel a lot happier. Um, in the it, whilst you're exercising and afterwards, and also because you've done that, you feel accomplished. You feel like you've achieved something, and people often complain that they feel pain after a workout i love the pain because it's a reminder that i've done the workout that it's working if you feel pain it means you're going to be gaining in some way so i like that so yeah do it for your mental health it will make you feel a lot happier a lot better um, maybe it won't cure things but it does make a massive difference and eating like really awful junk food will never make you feel any better apart from whilst you're eating it i also wrote here it's not always a bad thing to start um, wanting to lose weight i've kind of discussed that but what i kind of say with that is that you shouldn't feel like you know this stigma around weight loss being this kind of really awful thing where it's like oh you're gonna be addicted you're gonna you know lose too much weight it's i want to lose a healthy amount of weight each week get to my goal weight maintain that's what it should be I've put organisation and planning is key. So I am somebody who plans and plans and plans. I write list after list after list. Last night I probably wrote about six in a row. I was, I just love it. Sundays are my planning day. Today is Monday. I'm hoping to get this video up tonight. But yeah, I just love it. Like I plan my food shop for the week. I plan um, my what I eat throughout the week. I will do videos kind of showing me um, writing my food shop list and writing and planning out what I eat in a week i don't always stick to it and i don't beat myself up if i don't stick to it but it's a rough guide it's just a rough guide for me to go by oh yeah i remembered i could have that today sort of thing so i do all that but planning is a key if you plan what you're going to have throughout the week you know what foods to go and buy from the shop first of all and you're prepared and ready you can cater that to things that you've already got in the house or you can obviously make new meals or new ideas on alexandra's happy body plan they have meals and ideas and things on there so you can pick things and try new meals and it's exciting and i love cooking and it's you know just something that can really you know become more of a hobby okay there's a lot of beeping going on outside that kind of thing so yeah planning for the week also every night i plan what i'm gonna eat the next day and how many calories are in everything now this is something that could you know upset people is the fact that i do count the calories in absolutely absolutely everything um, the night before so that I know what I'm gonna have the next day and this is just because so that I know where I can have more calories so I eat 1400 calories a day for six days a week and then one treat day don't count the calories on that day god knows how many I have but that's what I do and that's what I stick to so that I can lose weight in a healthy way maybe some people need to eat more than that i don't know but i'm that's how i'm happy with and that's what i'm fine with 
um, and I've been losing about two to three pounds every single week so I'm happy with that what I'm saying is is I like to know how many calories I've had for my breakfast and my lunch and if it's a bit lower than usual then I can have a little bit more in my evening meal or I can have a little bit more in my snacks or I can treat myself to a chocolate bar or something like that or for example if my breakfast is quite high in calorie I will then reduce my calories of my lunch and my evening meal a little bit um, things like that so it just helps me to be able to be in control of it the night before so that the next day I'm not worrying and thinking oh how many's in this how many's in that I already know because I already planned it out the night before I love it I enjoy it and the reason why I enjoy it is because I love organization I love writing things down planning it adding things up you know I'm doing accounting and finance at uni it's something that I enjoy just doing things sorry my camera just decided to cut off but we're back that's a good point to mention is you know planning things out but of course if that's going to make you become obsessed with it don't do it this is just from my personal experience and what i've found for myself and if it helps you it helps you if it doesn't apologies okay i put weigh foods and if you want to do it properly weigh everything and count everything um a lot of people in the group chat that i'm in were not counting calories in sauces in butter or oil they are actually extremely high in calorie and they will add up just like that to quite a lot and i would rather have my calories in more healthier foods like vegetables or even just have my calories in like a treat rather than having it in like you know oil do you know what i mean so instead you can have the fry light spray calorie um low calorie spray or just add a tiny bit of oil um don't lather everything in butter or just count it just count it into your calories um things like that i don't have butter because it's just to me i'm just not a big fan of it um because it does have so many calories in it if it's a treat day i will have butter on my bread but if it's not then i won't it doesn't bother me i'm not restricting myself i don't crave it it doesn't bother me but weighing everything really does help i use like digital scales so i will for example pop my bowl i know this is a mug i'm not done but pop my bowl onto the scales zero it and then put whatever um, i want to put into it and go like it that way it's just so much easier and it's just easier to track it track my calories on my fitness pal it really helps to kind of make sure that everything is laid out and it just helps you to track breakfast lunch tea everything like that or dinner whatever you say and snacks and it also tracks exercise i don't track exercise and the reason why i don't is because i know that weight loss is very much calorie and food diet nutrition focused so if you are tracking your exercise saying that you've burnt this many calories and then you then eat more it can actually do worse so what i try and do is just focus on my eating and just don't exercise that much i do um i will talk about exercise a little bit later on in this video but i don't overload the exercise and um you don't need to you don't need to be at the gym 24 7 you're wasting your time if you enjoy it it makes you feel happy good but you don't need to be if you don't enjoy the gym then you don't need to go to the gym you can do workouts at home which i'll talk about in a minute don't restrict yourself so this is like an important one um about restriction and people have talked to me and they're like oh it's really bad to restrict yourself i'm not that this plan is you can eat whatever you want whilst you're in the calorie um count so if you reach enough 1400 you can eat whatever you want i personally would rather eat kind of more healthier foods and things like that because that means that i can eat more often like the more enjoyable treat foods um are really high in calorie and you can't eat that much um, for example you can have a mcdonald's and that will take up your whole calories for the day don't do that that's a treat day thing um but just make sure that you're having kind of foods that are going to fill you up and give you energy 1400 calories seems low to some people but it isn't if you're eating really healthy nutritious foods that will fill you up and give you that energy and i feel like i've got so much more energy than i ever have before and i love it so don't restrict yourself if you are craving chocolate what i would recommend is dark chocolate i literally have two pieces of dark chocolate which is about 40 calories and that's my cravings for sweet things gone done i know it's not the same for everybody but it is for me if it was milk chocolate on the other hand i would want more there's something in milk chocolate that wants you to keep coming back dark chocolate it's kind of nice but then i don't want any more sort of thing so that's what i tend to do um but yeah and also allowing yourself a treat day really helps 
to keep you motivated but I'll talk about that later on in the video. Okay you also following on from that I would recommend having a variety of different food items in your diet. Now I don't agree with <clears throat> I don't agree now this is just my opinion don't come at me I don't agree with the keto diet or fasting or anything like that because it's not sustainable it's not something that you can stick to your whole life it that is about losing weight and then once you've reached your goal oh god one what do i do now do i go back to what i was eating before no because you will put the weight back on again you need to do something that you can stick to and that you can then adjust later on if you're eating like me variety of foods anything you want basically but just small amounts when you reach your goal all you need to do is up your calories slightly remain with what you're eating but up your calories slightly so that you maintain your weight and you sort it you don't have to think oh my god what am i going to eat now i've reached my goal i don't want to keep cutting out you know carbs or anything like that um so yeah just i would recommend personally from my experience allow yourself a bit of everything and that will also stop the cravings and it will stop you from for example giving up one day and binge eating you know everything that you see in sight basically because you've still kind of fulfilled those cravings because you have that everyday sort of thing fasting i don't agree with fasting at all i personally have found that actually eating little bits throughout the day helps to lose weight more than people that eat between you know i've heard of people eating just between two hours in the day and i'm just like oh my god like no no that's not life that's not what human beings are made to do um i i just don't agree with it and, and i'm probably going to get hate for that but I don't really care because I just have my own opinions. This is my channel for my voice and this is what I'm saying. And if you disagree with me, fair enough. We'll, we'll leave that one there. But well, what I'm saying is it's nice to have variety in your diet. Um, eat breakfast. I said this in the group chat in the body shop, uh, body shop, in the happy body plan group chat. I say that all the time, breakfast, breakfast, breakfast. When I started eating breakfast properly, I started losing weight. It does help a lot. It sets your metabolism up for the day. Some people say I've done, you know, m research into it or I'm at uni studying nutrition and you don't need to eat breakfast. I actually know for a fact that it has helped me lose weight. So, you know, it doesn't mean to say that it helps everybody, but it also doesn't mean to say that it doesn't help because some people save their calories from breakfast and have them later on in the day. But I know for a fact that if you eat morning, lunch, dinner, kind of like substantially, then you're not gonna be gaining. If your body is kind of restricting itself, for example, if you don't eat in the morning, your body won't be burning calories because it will be saving them. If you don't um, eat food, your body will try and save those calories instead of burn them because it will go into survival mode thinking that it's not having any calories so if you eat it'll think oh i'm all good i've got food you know i can burn these calories now rather than thinking save save them we don't know when we're going to eat next drink water now i've written this down however i don't really know if it works um i know that drinking water uh, or a lot more water helped my skin out a lot and helped my skin to be better and that was obviously great and stuff like that but i don't know if it helps with weight loss i've heard it does but I can't really speak from my personal experience because I don't know, I, I don't have any experience with that. Um, probably does. Oh, what I do know about it though, is that it does kind of fill you up. So if you're hungry often, and you think you're hungry, you're actually thirsty. You know, you're not really thirsty, but your body is thirsty and you, all you want is water and your body just wants water. So sometimes it's good to just drink water through the day just to stop those kind of fake hungers going on inside your body. Hit hit workouts are amazing. I recommend them so much. I was doing them years before I even started this plan and I know how good they are. You literally only have to do 10, 20 minutes a day and you're sorted. They are high intensity interval training. That's what it stands for. It's high intensity moves that you do and then you move on to another one and then another one and then a little break and then do some more and then you're done. It's high intensity so it really does get your cardio kind of, you know, it's got that cardio aspect and it also kind of hits like really hard on your muscles and everything like that but in a short space of time 
if you was to go to the gym and do a HIIT workout, you wouldn't be able to do it for an hour. You know, it's definitely something that's a 10, 20 minute sort of thing, but they do say that like a 10 minute HIIT workout is equivalent to like an hour on the running machine. Not saying that there's anything bad with that, but if you're the kind of person that doesn't want to go to the gym or, you know, doesn't get motivated by that, you can do workouts at home and still see like amazing results and still get really fit and strong. Just get yourself some dumbbells or some kettlebells or something like that and you're sorted. But yeah, hit workouts are game changers. Walk places. So instead of getting the bus or instead of driving, try walking. Um, sometimes I get bored of walking the same route to uni. So sometimes I'm like, oh no. But try your best to walk as much as possible. Walking is really good for you. It burns extra calories that you wouldn't have burned if you didn't do that. And it's also nice to get fresh air and just interact with nature and the world, basically. Um, I go on a run once a week. This is something that I do on a Saturday morning and it's something I wanted to do just to see, just to kind of see how I would be and, you know, what sort of fitness level I was. And I'm a lot better than I thought I was gonna be because I thought I'd be awful. Like awful um but i wasn't that bad um so yeah went for went doing some running i've got a lot better as the weeks go on it really sees your fitness level go up and it's all about kind of stamina and just kind of you know if you run really fast at the start you're not going to be able to maintain that so it's about kind of being able to run at a level that you're able to maintain i put don't have loads of crap in the cupboards what i mean by that is don't have these really kind of Biscuits, basically biscuits are the worst thing ever. They are not filling at all. They will not like fix your cravings and they have loads of calories in them. By all means, if you're, you know, the kind of person that can just have one and it's fine as a treat, but I would rather have my calories. You know, you can have the same amount of calories in a fiber one, I've already eaten this by the way, in a fiber one cake bar than in one biscuit. And this feels like a real treat. Um, by the way, I would really recommend those. I am going to talk about some recommendations in a little bit. But yeah, I would highly recommend just not going for the biscuits and substituting for slightly kind of more nicer but less calorie items. So yeah, if you don't have things like that in the cupboards, you're not going to be reaching for them. If you've got family members that want to eat that stuff, then you might have to put up with it and your willpower will have to be stronger. But you know, that's just whole part of the process. If you want something really badly, then you need to have that motivation. Okay, like I said, I love the Fiber One brownies. I love Fiber One bars like this. They usually have about 87 to 90 calories in them and they're really, really nice. They feel like a treat and, you know, they're a little bit healthier than other things, but I just really like them and would highly recommend. And I've been living off of those as, as my treats in the evenings. Also, oats are really good to have as a breakfast in the morning. They will keep you full. I've seen comments of people saying that they don't eat breakfast because it makes them more hungry. Um, that That's fine. That's usual. That's what happens with me. But, but oats will help you to feel fuller for longer if you need to stay full. Oats will really help you. Um, do that uh, about weighing yourself so this real like kind of stigma about weighing yourself and you shouldn't weigh yourself because you can get disheartened if the scales go up or down I don't get disheartened um, well I don't get disheartened obviously if they go down but if they go up I don't get disheartened because there's many reasons you could be bloated you could need a poo you could need to go to the toilet do you know what I mean like there could be metabolic things happening inside of your body that you are not in control of that could cause that or muscle gain you know lose fat replace it with muscle that kind of thing so you might not have lost any weight but at the end of the day it's good to track your weight because if over a long period of time you're not losing anything then you know that you're doing something wrong and then you need to assess things and make changes to things if you don't weigh yourself you might not know that things are you know going wrong it's not all about the weight if you're happy with how you look great but sometimes it is good to just know how much you weigh and if you've got a specific goal like a healthy weight then <clears throat> then it's always good to kind of be able to know like if you're on track or if you're not at all so i weigh myself twice a week wednesdays and sunday uh, wednesdays and saturdays straight away in the morning where i've been to the toilet i have no food inside me at all and it's just very kind of pure and 
you know the absolute lowest weight that I would be at that is what I weigh myself as um, if you weigh yourself in the evening you've got all your food from the day inside of you so that is why it will be more calories um, but yeah I tend to find that I've probably gained a couple of pounds before Wednesday and then by the time Saturday comes I've then lost those two pounds and lost even more so don't be disheartened don't weigh yourself every day you don't even need to weigh yourself twice a day I would say once a week or maybe once every two weeks depends what kind of person you are um, some people take measurements and I think if you're a little bit bigger taking measurements will help I haven't because I'm not gonna be I'm not making massive changes I'm not doing this to make tons of changes and I'm not doing this because I want to lose loads of weight just a little bit so I don't think that's gonna make too much difference um, but that's something that you might want to do take before and after pictures now that's really important because they do make a massive difference I um, have got before and after pictures along the process and they really you know you can notice big changes even straight away after like a week sorry my camera cut off again i've been filming for a very long time yeah before and after pictures are amazing because if you're not losing weight you might see changes in the way that you look allow for a treat day either once a week or once every two weeks or however often i can actually allow myself one every week i have a treat day where i don't count my calories i don't track anything i just stay quite healthy during the day but still not counting things but then when the night time comes i will have a takeaway but don't go too hard you know you don't want to ruin everything but just you know a nice little treat or you could have a meal out or a mcdonald's um and then you know maybe some sweets and that's the treat day cravings done and that just means that i'm having still nice things and i'm not restricting myself and then the next day i will get straight back on it and i'm really motivated and ready to go more than ever because i've eaten badly the day before it just keeps that motivation going and it doesn't make you think you know oh my god i've got so long of this left you know you can look forward to the weekend it's something to build up to and be motivated for and think if i eat this many calories every day and i stay to my workouts and i be really good and healthy then i can have this treat on the weekend that's how i see it um when you go wrong don't beat yourself up this is really important a lot of people when they go wrong they're like oh my god i give up i'm not going to do this anymore i've you know this this is me done now <laughs> and just binge on everything and then the next day they're like i want to start again because i've just eaten that no if you make an error if you mess up tomorrow is a new day i always think of that it's not oh i started three weeks ago and now i'm on week three it's every single day it should be treated fresh new high motivation every single day if you mess up get back on it straight after straight away it's not oh oh well i've messed up and it's wednesday i'll start again next monday no that's bad that will never work next day always start again every day is a fresh day every day you can be highly motivated and that's what i would recommend what's important and what's most important is that you keep it up if you treating it like a diet you will get to your goal weight hopefully um but if you get to your goal weight and then you suddenly think okay now what do i do like i was saying earlier on in the video whereas if you're following the plan that i'm following or if you're just not restricting yourself too much when you get to your goal weight all you need to do is just up those calories ever so slightly and you will maintain your weight and that is what we want you're not restricting yourself you're not going out and binging you're just being aware and you know i love this diet I, I feel happier i enjoy eating healthier foods and then when i have treats i enjoy them even more than i ever did before you know it, i'm not doing a plan where i feel really guilty or where i'm not allowing myself anything i'm doing a plan that makes me feel happy and makes me feel good eating healthy foods and i'm enjoying trying new things and then when i do have a treat it's a real nice treat okay also just quickly before this video ends when going out do not panic about eating foods look on the menu think what is the kind of more healthier option on this menu unless it's your treat day then go for it but what's the healthiest thing on this menu it's not always a salad dressings can really create problems um it's not always a salad um but look into it think about it have a you know do some research prior to the um, occasions that you know and try and track it as much as possible if you can't track the calories because you don't know what the heck's in it 
don't just don't track calories for that day eat the meal enjoy it have a good time with friends and then later on in the day just eat healthily don't restrict yourself don't think oh i've been for a meal out now i can't eat at all just again like i say tomorrow's a new day carry on the day be healthy and then move on with it it's not oh i've been really bad now i can binge no do not do that also i wrote here it's not realistic to be perfect we live in a life where we're expected to be perfect in everything that we do or where people think that that's a thing. It's not. We're not expected to be perfect. You're not expected to be able to know how, be able to lose weight just like that. It's not as simple as that and it's not something that is expected to be stuck to 100%. We have it set in our minds. I've got, you know, two months to lose this amount of weight. I need to be perfect every single day. If you take that mindset, this is not a lifestyle change. This is a short period of time where you are, you know, gonna not stick to it when you finish. Do you know what I mean? It's all about keeping it so that when you finish um, and get to your goal, you can carry on with that healthy lifestyle and carry on, you know, but just up your calories or, you know, up your treats a little bit. Um, so yeah, be realistic. Think to yourself, I can have this. Um, because I've been good not oh I can't have this because I've got my thing to work for in two months time no it's be you know don't beat yourself up when you do wrong because it's not right to be perfect it's not per it, you know you can never be perfect when it comes to things like this um, and the final thing is be happy if you are doing this you should feel happy if you're not feeling happy then maybe you need to think, you know, what am I doing wrong? Am I not eating enough food? Um, am I eating too much food? My choice of foods, are they wrong? Um, that kind of thing. Am I not exercising enough? Or why is this not making me ha happy? It should make you feel happy. You should have more energy, be more motivated. And you shouldn't dread waking up in the morning. You should look forward to it. And this whole process should be all about being happy, being healthy, being fit, being active, and most importantly, making sure that your mental health is the highest like, possible positivity that it could be at that moment in time and just really kind of trying and, you know, it's all about making yourself the best that you can be in every aspect. So in your mental health, in your physical health and everything. So. I know I've rambled on in this video, it is very long, well done if you made it to the end, I'm probably just talking to myself right now because probably nobody has, but thank you for watching this video, please give it a thumbs up if you liked it, give it a thumbs down if you didn't because I bet you there's going to be a lot of thumbs down, you know, at some point, maybe, who knows, um, but does that bother me? No. So, this is all based on my experience, my opinions, everything like that. It's not, you know, I know what I'm talking about kind of person. It's just based on what I've experienced and that is different for everybody. So hopefully you enjoyed watching this video. Please subscribe for more like content like this. I do other videos as well, vlogs, makeup videos, everything. I do a lot of different things. So please subscribe and I will see you very soon, hopefully. Goodbye. <laughs>